So we did a uh, we did a video uh, you may have seen just um, before we uh, we trying out some new Music Man stuff that's just arrived and we thought we'd try something different to play through and we brought out a couple of rumble com rumble combos and they sounded amazing so we thought take this opportunity and just um, introduce this to the rest of the range if, for those you haven't seen it um, and what good value these amps are um, for for what you can get all under about five hundred pounds for combos. Um, very, very lightweight, and just they they're sound incredibly great. light. They're really, yeah. really deceptive. You pick these things up, and it's like, hang on a minute, somebody's the somebody stolen all the yeah. insides. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing to them. Where they're built, they're really, really easy to transport. So, but uh, you know, uh, after years of being a, a bass player and hugging, lugging around very heavy equipment, it's uh, oh, it's really nice. It's a pleasure. I remember I used to have a four ten Ampeg cab that I used to, to mm. had this technique of rolling up my chest into a little Clio <laughs> like and thinking one day this is gonna break me this is actually gonna break me and Clio's never forgiven him no she hasn't <laughs> uh, okay so what is in the range then I mean we've got a few here yeah uh, obviously it starts off um, with little practice amps right yeah that's it so from about 15 watts okay. um, for about 84 pound currently um, so you've got 15 watts then it starts going up 25 25 watts go to 40 a 40 watts um, 100 so and this is the this 100. is where we start going into yeah you're playing for the 100 oh, there this man one? this one is the 25 I believe yeah so this okay. is give you a good uh, sort of idea of the size of the, the 25 watt but they they look great and um, what speakers in that one that is a 1 by 10 okay one by ten, the hundred you go up to a one by twelve. Yeah, uh, and then we've got the two hundred just down here, which is a one fifteen. Right, um, and then we've got the five hundred watt just there as well, which is a two ten. All right. Um, there are also a few different extension cab options as well. So there's a one twelve. Um, you get a two ten, a one fifteen, four ten. If you really want to stack oh, them up, so, oh, there's lots of options then. So, yeah, absolutely, and they, they do head versions as well of the 200 and 500 watt. So you've got those in in just head formats if you want those as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think say just across the board sound really really great. I mean, we we've just been having a look through. So from the 100 watt combo, it seems that they've got the same setup like, uh, controls wise. Um, yeah, and the, the same. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the same sort of preamp and effects section. And that's that. it. Yeah. And even down to what's on the backs. Obviously, we're we're looking when we're um, plugging them up just using the DIs um, we're just having a look on the back to see what what's uh, involved with the amps and they're all yeah very similar from the hundred um, but things like you can turn the horn on and off as well it's quite a nice little little uh, little effect that you can you can use if you 
do like that or not. Yeah. Um, not? Not the 100 you can't, but I think on the... From the 200? the 200, the 200 okay. you can turn the, uh, the horn on. Also. Yeah, so there's another another few little um, options There's lots like of that. options on the back, lots of sends and returns. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Yeah, yeah. nice. Well, we'll do a look at so we thought we'd pick uh, something traditional. We've got a flea base there, which is a wicked base. Um, we've got something a little bit active as well. So we've got a Corvette, two-band EQ, okay, yeah. uh, rock base. We thought we'd just plug through these as well, just so you've got the, the variety. The comparison. Of yeah. Maybe traditional versus modern. Absolutely. So yeah. What's going on. Yeah. yeah. All right, that sounds good. So I think we're going through at the moment. You're going to be hearing... So uh, we mentioned as well, whereas the EQ is affected. So it's pre... Is it pre-EQ? Post-EQ, wasn't it? Yes, that's right. So yeah. If it, on, on the tweaked, DI... That's it. It's yeah. going to be affected. You're going to hear that that sound when you're um, actually tweaking the EQ here. Um, but we've got it all set flat, just so that's going through. Yeah. So, um, so you're just going to hear the flat EQ on the amp. So just the basses going through the different sizes and different speaker combinations. So. Cool. Right. Okay. So as you can see here, uh, I'll, I'll just run you through these controls. We've got a gain control, and then we've just got some little preset. Uh, sort of shapes here so we've got a bright switch a contour switch and this is like a, a scoop so this sort of accentuates the the top and the bottom end and cuts out the middle and then we've got a vintage switch which vintage. makes it sound like you've got really old strings on that's i reckon <laughs> we'll find out in a minute won't we and then look we've got um, a second channel uh, that's got overdrive on it oh that sounds exciting that's right a look at that in a minute well, that. yeah uh, four band EQ, bass, low, mid, high, mid, treble, and uh, overall volume. So there we go. Uh, Lee, if you'll be so kind, mm. play the bass, play and I will start fiddling around with some bass. of these bits. Nice one, man. Because so, all these controls do stuff, and I always like that. There's, there's nothing on it that's sort of kind of not pulling its weight. That's it, yeah. So, and uh, that drive, drive channel on that is really nice as well. That is really, that's, a, that's, a nice, that's a nice overdrive, isn't it? It is, yeah. That's and it's, yeah, it's got ni nice range to it, but especially that with the mix of a couple like the contour switch I found as well, like and, and the bright. Mm. Mixing between that with the, the dirty channel on these sounds, sounds really good. Yeah. Sounds really, really good. Oh, well, and I think for a 112, one obviously that's well. Obviously, you're going to hear it through the DI, guys, but. It just sounds great in the room. It just sounds really, really good. So, that gets a thumbs up then. Absolutely. And the idea is, so um, you know, like I say, the, the, this sort of uh, preamp section here is going to be the same across the board from the 100 up. That's um, right. So uh, you know, pretty much what you hear there, you're going to get from all the all the different amps. Everything so, from up, up the 100, there, the yeah. 200, the 500, and the heads and all that. that sort of yep, definitely. Cool. Okay. okay. Well, it sounded very nice with the jazz. Um, I guess we should try it with something a bit more modern. A little bit of active EQ. Yes. Um, so this is going to be a bit sort of uh, 
A bit pokier. A bit pokier, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, no, we'll I'll see try, how we, we go. I'll try a couple of different things on this, and you yeah. you go and have a whittle about on that, and we'll see what happens. Love it. <laughs> right, ready when you are. Drive is brilliant. I, I I skipped through, did the um the, the three buttons first, the little contours and little EQ mm. sort of switches, and yeah, I, I should have left it on, but that contour sounds great. Sort of with the passive and the active bass sounded sounded nice. So yeah. so yeah, that is our that is our quick rundown of the Fender Rumble range. We've um um we've got them all in stock. We've got a few few different bits that we haven't got shown here, but we'll show loads of pictures, something, everything, but all the links in the uh the, yeah, in the I description mean, below. They're all in stock at Anderson's, um, but I I think you know, just to make it uh, a little bit special mm. for everybody, just as an added incentive, mm. uh, we've decided we're going to do a little, uh, a little special offer for you if you're interested in buying uh, one of these amps. Yeah. So, so what, thinking, what's it going to be? So anything 100 watt up in the combos and the heads um, and all the cabs as well. We're going to look at, can, can, you know, include all the cabs. Right. So um, 100 watt combo, 200 watt combo, 500 watt combo, 200 watt head, 500 watt head, all the cabs, you buy any any of those and we're going to give a free uh, Tone City pedal oh. of your choice. We've been testing out a few here which would uh, work particularly well with the bass. We've gone through them all. I mean, um, we're going to do a, probably a little bit more in-depth video on this, seeing what actually really, really works well out of the, the, the range of overdrive and, dis and distortions. We picked the Fux Fuzz, because, I mean, straight away. I'm the sorry? Bat, but <laughs> just say it quick. <laughs> What's the it Fox called? Fuzz. Right. <laughs> I love saying that in the stuff. Yeah, so that's um, that sounded great. Um, but uh, all of these just sounded really, really good with the bass. We've got a tape machine, angel wing, comp engine. Um, so actually, are they plugged, plugged in through now? So we have a little, should we give a quick demo? I guess, is yeah. This, is this, let's have a little have a look. Well, soon the, find out. Yeah. Yes. All right. Cool. So um, let's have a little bit of the bass signal as it is, mate, if that's cool. <laughs> Yes, I think we'll keep that on. Let's have a go with the delay. We set up a little little delay. Hours of fun. Hours of fun. We've got a bit of chorus. Ooh. Let's have a let's have a fox fuzz. Yeah. 
Yes. So there's a, there's just a few that we've picked out. So anything over 100 watts, um, pick a free tone city pedal of your choice. We're probably well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. What are they? What are they worth? You're normally looking at they start around 40 pounds, so between 40 and 50 pounds normally. Right. Um, so you're thinking with the the 100 watt combo, I think it starts about yeah 278. So yeah, you're getting sort of 40 or 50 quid's worth of free pedal with that as well. Oh, cool. Um, so yeah, see what you think. We'll put maybe these four up first. Um, we'll have a little, little test of maybe some other ones that will work well, just particularly with bass. Um, and we'll throw them up there as well if we think they're, uh, they're suitable. So, uh, but yeah, get in touch if you're interested. Um, but so, most importantly, if you're around, come, come try them out with the pedals as well. Come see what's good for you. Right, there you go. So there's today's special offer. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rumble range, 100 watt or over in any of the camps. Get yourself a free pedal. Pick a pedal. Can't say further than that. Definitely. Cool. All right. Nice. I think we're done. Yeah, love it. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, this has been All About the Bass. I'm Nathan. And I'm Lee. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, uh, click subscribe down uh, there and uh, join us again. And maybe we'll see you next time. Okay, nice one. See you soon, guys. Bye. Bye. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.